Hey guys, welcome to my first ever vlog. That's kind of cool. You might be able to see behind me that there are a few suitcases. Well, not a few suitcases, but a suitcase and a backpack there by the door because I am leaving today to go to Calgary. I haven't really said anything specific about it on my channel to date, but I'm going there for the 2015 Inspire Awards. Uh, my dad is actually receiving one this year, so that's kind of awesome. His boss nominated him for his work in Labrador and none of it. So yeah, uh, I have everything packed and I have about a half hour to kill before my dad picks me up. But I figured I would quickly show you what I'm wearing to the airport because this is kind of what I like to wear for flights. So my long drop sleeve t-shirt is from Victoria's Secret Pink. And my hoodie is one of the scuba hoodies from Lululemon. My leggings are from Garage. And I'm going to be wearing like big wool socks and Ugg boots on my feet. So yeah, I have my purse as my personal item, backpack, and my suitcase. Let's do this. We look out and see the world. It takes everything we have to face it. Hey guys, finally checking in again. I finally made it to Calgary. Uh, there was like a one hour delay on our plane waiting for other passengers. So we left a little late and then it was like a four hour flight. So I'm exhausted now. It's like over, probably past 11 at home in Newfoundland. But I'm in my hotel room and it's absolutely gorgeous. And I really want to show you what it looks like. Okay, so here I am at the door. And then there's a closet here with a robe, super fancy, and a safe. And then this door slides open like this. And on the other side, a full length mirror. Hi. <laughs> And then, here's our bathroom. So nice, oh my goodness. Was not expecting this. <laughs> Beautiful shower, it has like almost a rain shower-ish. It's kind of cool. And there's a light up mirror. Perfect for anyone who needs to do makeup, of course. That's awesome. And then you come out here, and then here's the main part. So huge bed, oh my goodness. Plenty of space for one person. And here's like the TV area. And they gave us two full size water bottles, which I'm really excited about because I'm really thirsty. So I just have those in the fridge there now. And then we come over here. And there's like a chair and a desk area. Kind of nice. And then they have Starbucks, which is kind of like affiliated with Westing Hotels, I suppose. There's one downstairs. So there's Starbucks stuff there. And then. Here is the view. Actually, I should probably put the blind up or go behind the blind. So yeah, huge skyscrapers in downtown Calgary. Definitely different than St. John's. So yeah, figured I would check in and yeah, I think tonight I'm just going to relax and rehydrate, probably do a face mask. We'll see. So I get a call from my dad downstairs in his room and he says, there's a huge basket of food in my room. Can you come take some of it? So I was like, absolutely. So here's what I picked out out of the gift basket from his work. Um, the first thing that really grabbed my eye was the tiramisu biscuits. They look pretty good. And this is neat. I've never seen this before. This is orange peel covered in chocolate. So that should be interesting. I don't know if it's going to be weird where you don't really eat peel that much or it might be really good, we'll see. And then uh, I think it's cheddar flavored popcorn. It's kind of orange in some kernels, so I think it's cheddar. And I also picked out these hard bite kettle cooked potato chips. They're apparently like gluten free, natural, no MSG, all that kind of stuff. So yeah, that's gonna be like my snacks for the next couple of days. Good morning, guys. It is a little after 11.30 ish in the morning in Calgary so it's afternoon in St. John's but it is a beautiful day in Calgary today very sunny it was snowing this morning when I woke up but nice and sunny out there now lots of people on the go so anyway today uh, dad had rehearsals this morning for the gala tomorrow night but this afternoon we are gonna go to the mall Woo! 
So yeah, I just got ready and this is pretty much what I'm wearing today. If the light, there we go. So I chose this top from Smart Set to wear under a navy blue blazer with my dark wash jeans. I'll have boots and socks so it won't be like a crop jean. And uh, my makeup, I just did like a slightly darker lip but a very neutral eye uh, with the uh, new Too Faced palette that I got in my Sephora order. So yeah. That is pretty much it for now. <sighs> it's been a long, been a long haul. I'm, I'm glad to be here and finally starting to adjust and that kind of stuff, that's for sure. I also wanted to mention that I tried this last night. These are the Hydrogel Eye Patches from Ico. I got this in my top box this month and I really didn't like it. Um, it felt kind of stingy and weird on my eyes. I only had it on for about a minute and I had to take it off, so. Yeah, I just wanted to mention that I tried that. And then this morning, I also brought this with me. This is the Fresh Rose Face Mask. Um, <clears throat> I applied just a little bit of this to my face when I got out of the shower this morning and it just kind of helped like soothe my skin a bit and got rid of the dry flaky patches that kind of came up in some places. So if you have drier skin, I definitely recommend this mask. It was really nice. It even has little like chunks of rose petals in it which makes it kind of fancy. Hey guys, back from the Chinook Center. Did a bit of damage. Figured I would do kind of a vlog style haul and show you what I got. So at Forever 21, the only thing I picked up there was a new PJ set. Uh, these were like $16, so I thought that was a really good deal for very cute pajamas. So it says, oh la la, le macaron. And then it has the little French pastry cookies all over the shorts and there's one on the t-shirt as well. I actually tried to make these like maybe last summer I think it was and I did two different batches and they're really hard to make. They take a lot of baking skills, mad baking skills. They're so cute. So I picked up those PJs. The next place I went was MAC. The first thing I got was a Baby Fix Plus. I've never actually owned Fix Plus before so I'm kind of excited to try this and work with it and try it as like a setting spray and a dampening product for eyeshadows and all that kind of stuff. And then I got two lipsticks, just like I had planned. Um, I originally went in there thinking I was going to come out with a cream sheen and a matte, but I ended up getting two satins. So I'll show you what these look like now, and I'll reveal which shades I got. I did a lot of research through other people and YouTube and that kind of thing, trying to figure out what two MAC lipsticks to get for the beginning of my MAC collection. So the big reveal. Alright guys, here they are. The coloring from the lamp kind of distorts the one on the right, but I will swatch them in actual daylight in a second. The first one I got is called Amorous or Amorous. I think it's Amorous, but yeah. And the second one I got is Brave. So those are the two that I picked up and I'll go ahead and swatch those. Right, so here's what they look like in natural daylight. I'm over here by the window. Um, Amoris is, I would say, like a berry pink, but it's still very neutral and it's definitely nice for everyday wear or going out to dinner, something like that. And Brave is more of a neutral pink that I think is a perfect, like, everyday color. I took everyone's suggestions into consideration when I went into the store, but once I, I swatched everything, these are the ones I kept going back to. So these are the ones I got. The next place that I purchased things from was J. Crew. I was really excited to go into the store because I've heard so much about it online and I went in and I was like, oh, finally seeing it in person. Anyway, I picked up these earrings, which were, I think, 35% off or 25. Um, they have like an opaly silver color jewel in the bottom. The outer edge circle ones are like an opaque peach beige color and then the middle jewel is um, kind of that peachy pink color that you see a lot in jewelry these days. So I saw these, I loved how sparkly they were and stuff so I'm really happy that I picked them up and I also got a new belt because that was one of the main things that I forgot to bring with me on this trip was a belt. Um, so. I went ahead and got this because it was 25% off and I think it's really well made and it's uh, a nice color too. I feel like that would go good with dark jeans and like a white t-shirt or something. It's a little bit more orange than my belts in the past but I'm still really happy with that. This bag smells absolutely delicious. So the first thing I got from Lush 
was the mm, melting marshmallow moment luxury bath melt. This smells very similar to the pink candy bubble bars. It has just a really sweet marshmallow scent. And I believe they work fairly similar to bubble bars. I think you just either run it under the tap or crumble it like through the running water into the tub. Anyway, it smells absolutely lovely. I can't wait to try this. And here I have one of my old favorites. Well, I guess it's not that old, but I purchased one of these online back in November, December, and I tried it after Christmas, and it was like the best bath in the entire world. So I actually got two of these. These are the pink candy bubble bars, and these have the same scent as their Rockstar soap, which is like a vanilla marshmallow pink candy scent. Absolutely adore these. So excited to finally have these again. This is a product I've wanted to try for a very, 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 very long time, but you can't order these through their online web store because they're made fresh. So, I don't know, I guess I'll have to keep this in my fridge over there until I leave. But this is the Cupcake Mask. This is one of their fresh face masks, and it looks like poop, but it smells like chocolate. Oh my goodness. So excited to try this. And the last thing I have here was actually a freebie sample. Uh, the girl at the checkout gave me a sample of the Prince Charming Shower Gel. Apparently, a lot of people who like the marshmallow pink candy scents really like this stuff as well. I smelled it, and it was a little bit more floral than what I would prefer it to be. Um, but she gave me a sample of anyway, so that's cool. I'll give it a go. And the last and final bag, last but not least, this was probably the biggest purchase that was made today, and this was actually um, a gift from Dad, so even though he will never watch this, thank you so much, Dad. I love you. I'm so happy. I've wanted what's in this bag for a very long time, so yeah, let's open it. Here it is. Here's my new wallet. I got the navy uh, large zipper wallet from Michael Kors. It was a little less expensive than I remember it being. For some reason I thought on the website it was 178 but it was only 138 so I was a little bit happier about that. I didn't feel as guilty. But I've wanted to upgrade to this one for a long time. My uh, coach one that I have now is looking a little ratty and it's looking tired and like the zipper is pretty much about to break. So. I've had that for a couple years now, so it was time to upgrade, in my opinion. Uh, so yeah, I really like this. So, so happy that I have it. And very thankful that my dad let me purchase it from him. Here's what the inside looks like. It has a lot of card slots and a coin, pay, uh, coin slot place thing. Yeah. <laughs> and some open space on either side. You can put your phone in if you need be. And then there's a couple slots on the end, so yeah, it has all the storage that I need for my wallet, so yeah. And that's pretty much it for my haul. Um, I think I did pretty good. Yeah, I'm really happy with what I got, so yeah, it was definitely a lot of fun. The Chinook Center is definitely a way better mall than St. John's, that's for sure. Everywhere I walked, I saw like brands that I've only heard of like online and stuff. It's just like, wow, oh my god, it's right there in front of me. So yeah, that was exciting. I got to walk around Anthropology, Free People, um, what are some other places? Nordstrom. Uh, I walked around Sephora. I surprisingly didn't get anything there. Um, I felt a little overwhelmed in there to be honest because I'm kind of short on money right now anyway and I where I placed an order in February I didn't feel like I needed anything in there at the moment so yeah I skipped over Sephora I went in there but I didn't buy anything there but it was a really cool shopping experience and it was probably three times the size of the Avalon Mall so that was cool so now I'm just gonna lie down for a bit and watch TV before I meet dad for supper because we're gonna go to the cake it's like attached to our hotel, so we can just walk indoors, so. All right, just gonna quickly do an outfit for supper tonight. We're going just to the keg that's attached to the hotel, so I don't need to worry about a coat or anything, but I'm still wearing my winter scarf in case it's a little chilly. I have this um, fabric navy blue uh, blazer from Sushi Share, and that's dead, I gotta go. Uh, T-shirt from Smart Set, jeans from today, and flats. Good morning, guys, happy Friday. Uh, I just went down to Starbucks and picked up some breakfast, and today is gala day, so the day we actually came here for, and I have so much to do right now, it's not even fit. I need to not only shower and get ready for the entire day before like 10.30, but there's like a luncheon from 10.30 to 2, and then I gotta come back up, do my hair, finish my makeup, get dressed, 
then I have to be down again for a recipient dinner and then we go straight to the auditorium for the actual show so I have a lot to do I need to iron my dress work on my developmental assignment and actually try and start to pack because tomorrow morning we leave for the airport at like 5 a.m. and the reception doesn't end until like midnight <sighs> so yeah gonna be a long day for sure but still really excited it's gonna be good all right so I got the dress ironed all that kind of stuff just showered and got ready for the luncheon dress pants flats um, a really old shirt from smart set and my blazer from yesterday and just my regular coach purse so basically there's a luncheon from 10 30 to uh, 2 and then I have to come back get ready for the gala and then go back for dinner so yeah also my earrings are actually uh, bone earrings my little they're made of little seal they're in a seal shape I mean and they're made of I think it's whale bone uh, my dad bought them up in none of it couple of months ago I thought they're really cute and they're pretty fitting for the occasion too and I also have a few bracelets on this pearl bracelet my dad brought back from a trip to oh my gosh somewhere down in Central America I think and uh, the other two bracelets are from American Eagle so yeah I gotta go because I'm late no matter what life brings if it's you and me we're ready for anything Last time I vlogged was at the reception dinner before the awards gala for the Inspire Awards. Um, I had a little bit of a panicky um, emergency in terms of my dress. I originally brought a dark navy long chiffon formal dress to wear to the gala and I went to put it on around quarter to five right before the dinner started and the zipper actually broke which sucks. I was pretty disappointed because I know I picked this dress out online after so many like weeks of deciding it and then I got it in and then I had it altered really quickly for a lot of money. They, were, they ended up replacing the zipper when they did alterations and God love the girl who stayed there long after she was due off work and finished it for me. Um, but yeah, the zipper broke again, so I didn't end up wearing it. I ended up wearing the same outfit that I showed earlier from the luncheon. As it turned out, I got downstairs and a lot of the women were not in long formal gowns. A lot of them were in business attire, so I was, that made me feel a lot better. Like I was much happier after that and I was able to enjoy the rest of my evening. They didn't allow any electronic devices or cameras or anything like that during the actual gala. Um, because it was being televised. Uh, it's going to be on TV on um, Global and APTN in April. So when I find that out, I will either link it in a video in the future or say it in one of my videos if you're interested in watching it because it was a great show. There's a lot of good performances and it was really cool to see my dad receive the Inspire Award. And I'm really proud of him. So, yeah. Um, my hotel room is kind of a disaster right now. I need to pack up because we are leaving for the airport at 5 a.m. It is now... Uh, it is now 5 after 12. So I need to pack up and go to bed, get this makeup off, and uh, get up and shower in the morning. So, yeah, it's been... <laughs> Very tiring, but very exciting at the same time. So yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. I'm really tired. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. It was my first vlog experience. I know it wasn't um, as open in public as others, but it, it was, wasn't really the appropriate situation for it. Uh, first, I was in a mall, and uh, at this event, you know, it was kind of more professional, I guess. So, And besides, I didn't have my bag with me anyway, so... Yeah, so that is it. Bye guys. Hold my hand and we'll get up. I know we're gonna make it somehow.